flavours to celebrate. Mmm. Hellman's sponsors this morning food. Now, 70 years ago, in 1953, coronation chicken, chicken even, was created <laughs> for the crowning of Queen Elizabeth II, and it's now become a British classic. Well, for the King's coronation next month, His Majesty and Queen Consort have personally chosen a quiche as the official party food. Um, one of our friends who is European said, you've got to love the British. <laughs> got to love the British. Um, they're hoping it will be served up at celebrations across the country. So Clodagh's here today to put the recipe yep. to the test. To the so test. You did, you did, you've did. you done your own version and you've done the one that we would make. Exactly. So we've done the one... So I'm not going to tell you which is which. Oh, OK. OK? <laughs> so we've done the one exactly to the recipe. Um, that there's been published and then I made one adding the things that I would like to make or right. I would like to add. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you which is which, slice them up, have a taste and then I'm going to run through the recipe how I've done it. Right, okay. okay? So the first thing you want to do is make the pastry. So we're making the pastry from scratch. <gasps> and by the way, this is such an amazing initiative that the palace has released this fabulous recipe so we can all you know, Quite make nice it on the we'll day. All be doing the same. It is right. I was thinking last night when I was lying in bed, thinking about the quiche, because I have thought of nothing else since <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I bet. And I was thinking that wouldn't it be amazing if the whole country makes it on the day? The whole country will smell of quiche. Or lard. Or lard. <laughs> exactly. So starting off with the actual pastry, I'm using complete butter. So in the palace recipe, they use a little bit of lard and a little bit of butter. I mean, I've made my decision on this here. Well, oh, wait, don't say on, yet, don't on. say yet. Yeah. Okay, in my pastry recipe, I oh, use all butter. A lot of spinach. Um, lard is wonderful to use, and I really think that they're fantastic to put lard in because it's an old-fashioned thing to use. The only thing about it is that it's not vegetarian if you use lard, mm -hmm. because that is from a pig. But also, if you bought a big thing of lard, and it is like a... I can remember it a as chunk. being a big old chunk. Yes. And you've made your quiche. How much of it do you use? What are you going to use the rest? You're going to use about 25 grams, but you can use it on cook. I mean, you can use it like butter, like frying bacon. Seems very is delicious. old school, doesn't it? It's old school, and I can't. I love it. Like I really applaud that they've done that. But not everybody will use it. I prefer all butter in my pastry. The other thing that I've added is I've added an egg yolk which gives a lovely richness to it and all the rest. I put it in some water. They don't have any egg yolk in theirs. And then they do it by hand, but I do it by a food processor. And you just pulse it all together with a little bit of water in there as well. And it starts all coming together. I wonder which one you're going to pick. This is like <laughs> real Jeopardy. There's a clear winner for me. Is oh, there? God. OK, well, don't, yeah. say, don't say anything I don't yet. want to offend anyone. Don't say anything yet. <laughs> Nobody is offended because it's all about taste. And so, basically, if you use a blender, it just comes together so fast. And you bring it together like this. And then what you want to do then is you roll it out into a pastry flute. Now, here we go on to the pastry detail on everything. So... If you can see here, can you see that, guys? Yeah. Here, I'll bring it over to you. I've trimmed it, I've put it into the flan dish, I've trimmed it, I've pinched it with a fork. Now, in the recipe that's been released by the palace, they don't do that step. And I would say for people at home, if you're going to be making it, which you should, just get a fork and pinch it. So, because what that does, it stops the pastry from bubbling. I'm, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to do this here because you're progressing so much with this. And I've got to say that I think if anyone's going to make one, they should make yours. Oh, no, but you don't know which one is mine No, yet. I, if it's, if the one that I think is the one that it is, I mean, it, you can't have made one of them. OK, well, let me out. So, look, OK, so the pinching of the fork. Everybody at home do the pinching right. of the fork. It stops them from bubbling. There and then no you chance. need to chill it. Chill it for a half an hour. And the palace says that. It's absolutely correct. And then what you want to do then is put in some rice or some baking beans and then you blind bake it. And the palace says that too. We're together on that. We blind bake it for 10 minutes. They say 25, I say 10. It comes out and when it comes out, it looks like this, OK? Which is great. Now I'm moving on to the next step really quickly over here. I've got... I've added leeks into it because I like the... It need, I felt that the recipe needed a little bit more. I've added in leeks. I've added in garlic and I put in the spinach like the palace has. Now the well, one squeeze the water out of everything, haven't you? Because there's so much water in spinach. Mm. Exactly. So I've cooked it. Now so in the palace recipe, they have missed this step, which I totally understand. Written by a chef, which you would just presume everybody would know that. I'm a recipe writer, so I'm 
check every detail right. as if nobody has ever cooked before in their life. And so that was the first thing I saw. You have to wring it out, because look at all that liquid. Yes, look It's at like that. a green juice. It's like the green juice you were having I'd, this morning. I'd drink that, <laughs> baffling that. So all this <laughs> juice, if you don't wring out the spinach, all this juice yes. will go in here and give you a... A soggy, soggy bottom. bottom. A soggy but bottom. But like egg soup. Like egg soup. So then what you do then is you get your eggs, and we're the same on that. We're together on that, myself and the palace. You're doing and this very well. In goes, in goes the cheddar we're together cheese, on that. in with the eggs, and the ringed out spinach. I've added in sun blushed tomatoes to give it that lovely summery fresh flavour. They've put in broad beans. I think that broad beans can be lovely if you grow them and you take off the kind of the rubbery bit on the outside, the right. outer shell. I'm putting in milk and cream. We're together on that as well. They've added tarragon. I've added fresh basil. You just Can't tear it all up basil, like yeah. this. And then you mix it all around like so. It's so simple. So this is such a great one to do, whether you do mine or you do the palace version. But as I was saying, if you're doing the palace version, just remember to wring out the spinach, prick your pastry with it. Make sure it's all chilled and everything. And then that simply all just goes right in on top of the pastry. And then you pop it in to the oven, a preheated oven. They say 160 degrees Celsius. I say 180 right. degrees Celsius. We both put it in for the same time. So it goes into the oven for, have I forgotten anything? No. Nope. There we go. <laughs> I always do that just before I put it in, especially when I'm going like this one is better, uh, for 25 minutes. And then it comes out looking like... It comes out looking like this. So like the one so, that we both love. So we have to, we've got to, we've got to analyse okay, it. OK, here you go. All, first of all, the, the palace one tastes lovely. It's got yes. some sort of spicy, something in tarragon. there. So is it? It's, it's yeah, tarragon. OK, so yeah. I, I think that's lovely. It is essentially, it is essentially just a big thing full of... It's of spinach. There is so much spinach in it. But look, look at, look at how. I'm, I'm amazed that maybe they didn't think this through a little bit more. Um, it's, it's incredibly thin. It's a measly quiche. <laughs> um, it's absolutely, it's packed with spinach, which is very good for you. Um, and then you look at the way a quiche should be made. Um, and I swear to God, if these are the other way around, then I, I walk off now. <laughs> Um, You've lost a friend. <laughs> yours, yours is full of of uh, ingredients. It's it's um, it's, it's a generous proportion. Um, it's creamy. It's lovely. Um, I think I think that is a great base, but it needs a lot more work. Which, it needed your tweaks for sure. But do you, but do you know what? It, it 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 is this. It is the spinach being ringed out a little bit more pastry. I did add a little bit more pastry in, but I will say is that there are. So many amazing chefs, and the chef that would have done that would be an incredible chef. Of course he is. And there's so many amazing chefs around the country. Mm. It's very different to writing a recipe mm. to cooking. Yeah. So when I was, I you know, did that last night because I was just, I was only given the brief yesterday, so I was, you know, working on it all night long to kind of pull together the recipe. I can tell immediately reading a recipe and pull it together mm. what it is missing. So there's just a couple so, of tweaks. To give them, yeah. to obviously, a couple to, of tweaks. A positive, they said the wonderful thing about quiche is it's great for sharing, it's yes. great for adapting. Yes. So you use that as your absolute base and yes. then you do the, the good stuff on top. Exactly, just make sure you prick your pastry before you put the and filling in. And squeeze out Squeeze out a little bit and maybe add a little bit more pastry. So their recipe is 25 butter, 25 lard, and I think 125 flour. What I would do is I would kind of do 50% again of pastry. Right. So mm. to get a little bit more pastry in, but let's all make the Eesh. quiche yes. and for the, the, the coronation. And the tomatoes, for me, made it. Yeah. The tomatoes, the tomatoes are, are nice. gorgeous. Really yeah, the Thank tomatoes you, are lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs. What we should do also is we should do the, the royal recipe online just with the tweaks from what our team here yeah. think yeah. might make that a little That'd bit be better. Yes, we'll do 100%. That. We'll do the two of them. Yes. Um, you can download that for free from the This Morning app. Uh, right, so